Hey guys, welcome to Gay Area, the Bay's first gay stoner sibling podcast. And today, the podcast is for divas who love sandwiches. Amen, girl. Um, I'm one of your hosts, Daniel. Hi, everyone. And I am another one of your hosts, Allison, here. Today is National Sandwich Day. Um, we're very November excited. 3rd. November 3rd, yes. November 3rd. Also, another special day today, holiday drinks are back at Starbucks. Oh, yes. Can we hear a little commotion for that? Woo! Let's hear it. And I actually went to Starbucks today, but I forgot, and I didn't get a holiday what drink. What did you get? I needed the did caramel brulee. Did you get a PSL? Or did no, I just, got PSL? A, I just got Caitlin's go-to right now. You know, I'm, I'm very much a follower. Um, just iced coffee, toffee nut, no classic, and salted caramel cold foam with oat milk. But um, today, it's sadly, we're not trying Starbucks drinks. Next episode. <laughs> yes! <laughs> um, but today, we're Wait. trying Subway sandwiches. Yes. And I'm going to have to confront you because I'm going to need the drinks hot and I'm going to need them cold for what they are supposed to be. And if it's a Frappuccino, it's a car podcast. I'm telling you guys, today I'm being transparent with you. Danny's kind of, you know, encouraging me to eat the hot sandwiches cold. Yeah, I, I'm thinking that she's just going to have to be brave. And, you know, this is what you do when you make content, I think. I don't think you I'm can always Nick have Otto. it hot and ready, you know. Mm. But we are going to heat up the meatball sandwich. I, that's where I stopped the line. That's where I was like, And we no. can assess them. I mean, if it's a type of sandwich that needs to be we heated up. Three hot, four hot sandwiches. Yeah, I'd like to four. differ five. No, four. I think the two chicken ones are probably toasted. I don't know, but you're scared. I know they're toasted. And you're you're scared. Yes, because I'm not a diva who eats things cold. Yeah, I, I told you. I'm I, a diva who heats everything up. I will heat something up if it's not hot enough. Like I like my pizza to be bubbly melted. Like I love 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 hot stuff. Yeah, I'm just completely the opposite. And so when we were talking about it, I was like. Yeah, I mean, if you need to eat something up, go if, for it. But like, I'm probably going to be fine. Yeah, key. he's like, I'm but, good. I mean, not everything, obviously. You know, like a breadstick. I'm not. I'm going to heat it up. I'm not crazy. The Alfredo sauce. I'm going to go in cold. I mean, I'm not. I Like I said, I'm not crazy. What's going on? Okay, never mind. Sorry, guys. I'm lit. Um, The marks on the camera on the viewfinder. I was like, what's right in front of my face? What's, what's going on? Sorry. Well, no, we were just talking about sandwiches, getting, talking about them cold, um, and you're scared of them. But I think you're going to be able to overcome your fear today. Um, what if you really enjoy these cold sandwiches? I won't. I don't know. Well, let's get into it. I'm starving. I'm pretty hungry, too. So we're going to Nikocado um, snap into our food. So one, two, three. Bam! And we're back with 10 Subway sandwiches, all brand new ones for National Sandwich Day. And by the way, we are eating them today, November 3rd. It is not today. If you're listening to it, the day came out. Um, but It honestly, will have passed. Yeah. But, but that's not all a right. lot of people listen on the first day, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You guys can still celebrate. No worries. But the, fir the first one we're going to try is the number six called Meatball... No, excuse me. The boss. The boss. It's like a meatball sandwich with pepperoni, mozzarella, and meatballs on the Italian herbs and cheese bread. I'm Let's taking, get into I'm it. I'm this half. I'm going to need the water. Whoa. I took a really big bite. Pretty fire. I'm, I got like half a meatball on that bite. It is very salty. Mm. It's kind of spicy. Mm -hmm. That spice. The water. It's like a mouthful. I'm going in for Bro, one. Bro, I get that again. I'm going to go in for one more bite. There's a rogue red onion in here. I'm not complaining. Okay. Mm. Sorry, one more bite. It could be saucier, but I blame that on the fact that we had to reheat it. Okay, sorry. We had to quickly give the rest of that sandwich to Caitlin. Yeah. She was hungry. Did she try it? Did she like it? Oh, yeah. She, she I was, thought really, it was, in, she was I, really into it. Let me it. tell you. 
I I have only tried them once when I was younger. A meatball, the meatball sub. marinara. I'm telling you, I think the meatball's better. And the the addition of what is it, salami and pepperoni? No, just pepperoni and fresh mozz. Yeah, and pepperoni, fire. It was spicy. It was so good, but not too spicy at all. It was just like a little. Yeah, it might be too much for our dad. I was just gonna say. Yeah, he would would not enjoy that. But um, yeah. the six inch for that one is nine seventy nine. For a foot long, it's fourteen thirty nine. Are you serious? Damn, the times have changed. Yes. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is the number three, the monster. Um, it's a steak sandwich. It has Monterey, a double helping of Monterey cheddar. Thank you very much. Green peppers, red onions. And creamy peppercorn ranch. Okay. Well, I'm excited. The I'm picture excited. makes it look real good. Yeah, it makes it look a lot bigger compared to... Well... That does look cheesy, though. I um, kind of burnt it in the toaster. I might have been not looking. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. All right. I like it. It is really fresh. I, I do like the fresh peppers on it. Mm-hmm. I do like that. And the steak is really good. I might try just It's more. pretty good. Swap. Oh, swap? No, I'm saying to like, could we swap? Oh, did we? Mm-hmm. I didn't even notice. Mm-hmm. Oh, flush. And this one costs a little bit more. Six inches, $10. And the mm-hmm. foot long is fifteen thirty nine. Nope. Or, well, six inches is, is nine ninety nine actually. You can get a King Philly for probably the same price at the cheesesteak back. Um, for ten dollars. For a foot, is the foot long is only ten bucks. No, six inches ten. No, yeah, the 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 King of Philly is like a foot long, almost. And how much does it cost? Probably like fifteen bucks, and it's better. But it's pretty good. But um, it's Subway. I felt like I felt like it was pretty good. Uh, let's do this one with yeah, the tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes, tomatoes. It's like the Italian. It's like it's kind of like Italian BMT. And number four. I want to get into number four, Supreme Meats. One sandwich reigns, reigns supreme. Black Forest. Okay, why does he even say that? Okay. I'm just taking the tomato off. Of course. This one has Black Forest ham, salami, pepperoni, and capicola, um, and provolone, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, red onion, banana peppers, and... That's how the Our famous MVP yep. Parmesan vinaigrette. Let's get into it. I'm excited. Mmm. Tastes like an Italian BMT, folks. That's what we're working with. Right? I mean, everything that was on, except for the Capicola and the Parmesan vinaigrette, yeah, we've seen everything. And else personally, before. I like a spicy Italian better. But the peppers were juicy. Yeah, a lot of vinaigrette. I like the red onions. Oh, I don't know. Let me take one more bite. There's so many more sandwiches. Oh. Okay. So, any more thoughts about that last one? Basically, been there, done that. Yeah. It's good though. I liked it. It's a classic. I mean, I like the Italian BMT. Do not get me wrong. I order that quite frequently. Okay. Like I said, I like the spicy one more. Which one? The uh, the the steak and no, the spicy um spicy Italian. You liked it more. I like it more. I'm, we don't even have it here. Oh my god, this one's juicy. Okay. This one's number five, the Bella Mazza. It has. Thin sliced black forest ham, capicola, fresh moths, spinach, tomatoes, red onion, banana peppers, and their MVP Parmesan vinegar. Is the banana peppers good? Yeah. Let's try it. Just try like a little bite of one. It tastes kind of like like a peppery, pickly moment. Oh. And they're juicy. Sorry, y'all. I can't get over my fear of tomato. Not today. Okay. So much onion in that one bite, yo. Gotta spread it out. Yeah. Here we go. Number five, the Bella Mozza. Mm. 
No. It's so boring. Yeah, the meat doesn't have any flavor. I think it's the Capicola. Is that what this is? No, that's the ham. Mm-hmm. This that's- is the Capicola. Oh, then maybe it's the ham that don't have no flavor. That it's looks- the ham that has no flavor. That looks like it's supposed to have flavor. Mm, no. Not good flavor. It doesn't have flavor either. But I like the vinaigrette. Like, at least that has flavor. I love the idea of it, though. When I was looking at the menu, I was like, this one looks kind of good. But That's why I got a foot long of it. Or oh. didn't I? No, it's not foot long. Thank God. Yeah. So anything else about the Bella Mozza? Um, it did taste fresh because of the spinach, all the peppers. Like it's, It was all right. Um, Least exciting. I knew exactly I was Yeah, I definitely liked uh, the, the other one more. What was the other one? Any of the other ones were better, I thought. Oh, yeah. Agreed. Okay, the next one we have, just a chicken. Can oh, you, my gosh. Can you open it? Bro, this is the rotisserie chicken ranch, peppercorn ranch with onions, green onions, or green peppers, red onion, cheese, Number nine. peppercorn ranch, I believe, right? This one, the champ? Yep, the champ. Yeah. Yeah, so it has Monterey Jack, or Monterey Cheddar, excuse me, green peppers, red onions, Peppercorn Ranch, and the rotisserie chicken. And it's called The Champ. Ooh. Interesting. Excited to try this one. I just feel like they should look a lot bigger, right? Like This looks so nothing. Yeah, kind of puny. Wait, Some look inflation. at that. Oh, let me give you some. No, it's okay. I, I, don't no, no, need no, no, the, no. I only need it in the first bite. But I don't. Yeah, true. Just press it. Let's get into it. The champ. Cut. Cut. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That one's a winner for me. And you were afraid of the rest history. I was. Um, without the green peppers for me, it's not needed. Just red onion. Do you need another one? You just took mine. Mm-hmm. We're just taking each other's napkins now, I guess. I will say, this is all... There's like... Okay, Allison put that piece of rotisserie chicken right there. Yeah, they really fucked that up. Without that little piece, it's just a huge piece of bread. But And it back. With this back on it. Someone's going to eat it. Play. Okay, the champ. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys how much they cost. Whatever. This one is the cheapest out of all the ones I've looked at the how much they cost. Eight forty nine for a six inch. Still pretty bad. Twelve eighty nine for a foot long. That's not bad. Not too bad. Okay. Turkey ham. Can you open this one? Mm-hmm. This is number eleven, I believe. Oh, tomato. No, it's it's turkey ham roast beef. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Okay. N- up next, we have number eleven, the Subway Club, oven roasted turkey. Black Forest ham, roast nice. beef, provolone cheese on a multi-grain bread. Interesting. With lettuce, tomato, red onion, and mayo. Hmm. Okay, I'm already going to oh. say it's boring. You take that juicy side. Eight sixty nine for a six inch. It's weird how they all cost a little different. It's so, so much mayo. Okay, with my modifications. The Subway Club. You like that? It's like a classic. It's giving very classic. Like an old person would get this. Oh, that's yeah. I, that's why I have multigrain. Grandma would love it. And the cheese was really good. The mayonnaise, it was cold. I'm going to try a, one more small and bite. And the meat tasted good. That was pretty, that was like, that was pro- that's probably better than the Italian 
BMT. No. To me. To me. Absolutely not. To me. I, I like I like roast beef. Okay, up next we have number two, the outlaw. Spicy, cheesy, smoky, they say. Juicy steak, double uh double pepper jack cheese with green peppers, red onions, baja chipotle. On Italian bread, it says try not to fall head over heels. Okay, subway. I'll try. Okay, and this one costs eight ninety nine. Not bad. Doing my modification. Dink it. The and outlaw. sink it. Oh, is that what they say? Yeah. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I'm gonna make you mine. I'm gonna make you mine. Mm-hmm. Mm. That outlaw sauce is fire. I think it's a Baja Chipotle. Chipotle Baja. Baja Chipotle. Did you say outlaw sauce? Yeah. Where? The outlaw sauce. Hello. No. Imagine it hot. I think I liked the monster more of the of the cheese stick ones. No, I like this better. Really? Or the sauce. I don't. The sauce is not doing it for me. That is what's doing it for me. Mm-mm. I wish it was warm. Oh. Okay, you got a good bite? I can't imagine it warm. Why? Imagine how good it is? Yeah, it's probably way better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This is supposed to be hot. But no. I still didn't we, like it all that much. we tried the other one hot. Oh, we did. Yeah, so the meat probably tasted better. Mm, maybe it was more juicy. Yeah. I still didn't really like the chipotle sauce. I loved it. It made my lips tingle. I'm done. Okay. Turkey and ham is up next. This is number 11. You want to open it for us, Al? Yep. Okay, this is the Subway Club. No. Didn't we do that already? Didn't we do that one? Yeah. This is a bacon. Oh, it has bacon. And ham. Oh, that's the 10. That's 10. The All-American Club. And turkey. Okay, so it has turkey, black forest ham, bacon, American cheese. Ew, American cheese. Lettuce, tomatoes, red onion, and mayo. All-American Club. Okay, interesting. So it's a little different from the Subway Club because it has bacon. Otherwise, it's pretty much the same. Oh, this one doesn't. Oh, no, it does have ham. Oh, maybe the other one doesn't have turkey. Was was it was roast beef? Oh yeah, it was roast beef and ham. Yeah. Okay. Oh, are you ready? Okay. Yep. All American Club. Here we come. Ew. You know the last one. I love it. Maybe with all your modifications. Yeah, I'm sure without the tomato, it's terrible. Try mine. Hmm. Better. I don't think I like ham. I don't think I'm a ham girl. Sorry, but that was interesting. Oh my god, we should save this one. Is it another rotisserie one? Yeah. Yeah. It's the garlic one. Steak we and should bacon. heat that one up a little. We can do like a finale. Yeah, and heat it up. Mm-hmm. No, this is my. Oh, work. Yeah, chicken bacon. This is number eight. Oh, we're almost done. Mm-hmm. No, no, there is no number seven. There was no number seven. When I went to order what? it at my location, there is no number seven. They didn't have that. I remember thing. I told mom they have. I said they have one through six. And then 8, 9, 10, 11. I said, I. So, which one is that open at? She was like, remember, someone said it's a super. Caitlin said maybe it's a superstitious thing. I said that. That looks like the same one. It's another cheesesteak. It's another of the, there's, the monster. There's three cheesesteaks. Yeah, I think it's this one. Or is, it, or is it the normal one? It might be the classic. That took a second to figure <laughs> out. 
<laughs> I'm still a little he, he's confused. He's not convinced. He's not, I'm, I can't convince I'm him. I'm in a sun, subway tundra, really. <laughs> but I'm going to trust Allison. I'm really going to trust her because I'm just probably delusional. This is number one, the Philly. It has cheesesteak, double helping of provolone, toasted on artisan Italian bread, topped with green peppers, red onions, and mayo. Here we go. I always remember eating three of these. Four. Gross. Lazy. Boring. That was not good. You know that sound? That's like Abby Lee. Boring. Yawning. Sloppy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not good judge though, because hello. Put her back in there. It's not warm. Uh, Yeah, true. It's kind of soggy. But I'm just not a fan of cheesesteak in general. Yeah, why would I get it at Subway when I can get it at the King of Philly? And that one cost $8.99 for the 6-inch, $13.49 for the foot long. And for all of the sandwiches I didn't give you the prices on, I'm real sorry. Okay, guys. So I was put in charge of getting acquiring the sandwiches today. And in doing so, I was like, I need to include my favorite sandwich to show you. Because we didn't have enough sandwiches already. This is my favorite. Italian bread, provolone, deluxe tuna. So you get like 50% more. Mayonnaise and sweet onion teriyaki sauce. Tell me what you think. I've definitely had this before. Maybe not deluxe. Countless of times. Feels heavy, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and I'm saving this for lunch. So I'm just going to take a, a little nibble. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of good like that. The sweet onion teriyaki. Fire. Good on any Sammy. Really. I want to, like, put a paper towel here to, like, protect it. So it doesn't get soggy? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Well, now we're going to take a quick intermission, smoke a little bit, and come back with our finale, the rotisserie garlic chicken sandwich we're really excited to try. We'll be right Right back. back. We're back, and we didn't smoke, not yet, but we're really excited to try number eight, the garlic, no, no, excuse me, the great garlic. This is the final sandwich. It's piled high with rotisserie-style chicken, crispy bacon, provolone, lettuce, tomatoes, red onions on Italian bread, and topped with new creamy roasted garlic aioli. My question is, why is tomato on fucking everything? I don't understand why there has to be tomatoes on everything. I know. I didn't ask for it. They love it. But we needed to get all of the sandwiches the way it came. Because he wanted to try it like that. Because I want to try it in... You know, just makes sense to try it the way it comes. Allison no, just not unless is, you has, would rather enjoy hasn't it. Hasn't graduated to, you know, produce on graduated. sandwiches. You know, you're just like a plain so why does sort it of need, gal. Why does it need to be there? Do you think I'm like, I'm not looking to lose weight. I'm not looking to like, you think, do you think it's like any kind of nourishing? How nourishing do you think it is? What? That has absolutely nothing to do with that. So then why that. are you saying graduating? Like it's like needing to grow up or it tastes, get better. It tastes, because tomatoes taste good. To you. I have a texture thing. I hate crunchiness. That's like the produce. I don't like it. I'm sorry. I didn't know the tomatoes were going to. I don't like any of the fucking, cr- I don't like crunchy stuff. And I don't like that smushy, disgusting tomato. Um, You know, I don't think it should be a problem to not want it. I'm just saying occasionally, you know, sometimes it slays and you might want to give it a try. I ate a few bites of them with the shit on it besides tomatoes and I didn't like it. I want to eat it like I like it. Uh, okay, I don't have a problem with that. Well, don't say graduating. I'm just saying, you know, like maybe one day you'll start, you'll like them. You never know. But but doesn't matter if I never do. Exactly. Period. Hmm. 
There's no garlic aioli. There was a lot on the wrapper. I saw a lot of it, like, had spilled out. I'm going to try again. The other Rochester one was so good. I like, I don't mind it, though. I like the Rochester. I don't like it. What was the other one with? Oh, this one. Yeah, what was the other one? Monterey the Jack. Green peppers. Yeah, I had the peppercorn ranch. Yep. Yeah, I don't really like garlic aioli. I do, but general. I couldn't even taste it. I can kind of taste it. You don't taste the garlicness? No. You don't taste the garlicness at all? Maybe take no. some, Maybe try mine. No. Let me um, it's all in the produce is the thing. Oh, there we go. I taste it. I licked it. Yeah, you can definitely taste it. I'm just not a big garlic aioli person. The chicken's good, though. The rotisserie chicken is amazing, and I, I it will be revisited. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to have fun with that one. Um, So now we're going to smoke, rank the sandwiches, and Probably come back off the table a little, with our maybe. final thoughts. Going to wash my hands for sure. We'll be right back. <coughs> <coughs> all right. That one's good. And we're back. And we have all the Subway sandwiches ranked mm-hmm. from our least favorites. We'll never probably get again to I'm intrigued. Absolutely. I probably will. Definitely I might get I'm this intrigued. next time. I'll definitely recommend my number one. But let's just start from our least favorite, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And last place, I think we're going to be on the same page. <laughs> the Bella Matza. Bella Matza. Bella Matza. <laughs> That's the one with Spinach and the Parmesan vinaigrette and the mozzarella and like yeah, ham. It, I think yeah, it has ham. mozzarella, uh, black forest ham, capicola, yeah, and, and the, the fresh capicola. mozzarella. Um, when I bit into it, I knew. Yeah, honestly, it was the most mid of the whole fucking thing. It, I mean, it tasted kind of, kind of fresh. The vinaigrette was good. It tasted like nothing. Like if you kind of want like a nothing sandwich. Absolutely. Then I might recommend it. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know. Agreed. Moving on. Number nine, I have the Subway Club. You have the Subway Club? Yeah. What do you have? Um, I have the Philly. Oh. The number one Philly. So the classic. Really? Just the cheese, the juicy steak, and the, 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 what's it called? Sorry, guys. We the the smoke gets trapped everywhere. Yeah, here. we were hot boxing <laughs> hard. Yeah, we were really hot boxing. Um, yeah, it's like the, the basic cheese yeah, steak with sandwich. The mayo and cheese. Yeah. So yeah, the Subway Club is the one with oh with Black Forest ham and turkey and provolone cheese. Yeah, you didn't like that one, huh? Mm-mm. Not a fan. Was bored. Boring. <laughs> what the hell you do that for? <laughs> to get rid of our hot box. You blew right into the mic. There we go. Yeah, it's just <coughs> basic. It's, it's just boring. So you lazy. Really, really? The subway club? Mm-mm. Okay, number eight. The Philly. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. On track. For me, number eight, the great garlic. <gasps> Whoa. That was the one we were really excited about. I know, right? Yeah. That's and it was really mid for me. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. yeah, I have that one a little I bit I just higher. have to say, like, the rotisserie chicken is good. I'm definitely going to play around with that. But the way they executed it for that, no good. It needed more, it needed, like, bacon, needed more sauce, like, something, maybe mayonnaise and the garlic aioli. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I have it higher, but you're kind of making valid points. Thank you. Low key. I understand. Uh, Philly. Everything yeah. you just said. Right. Boring. Lazy. Could have better many other places. Yeah. Okay. Seventh place. You're going to be shocked by this. Oh, my God. I'm shocked by that. The outlaw. I am shocked. Yeah. I For me, it's shocked. the monster. <gasps> you didn't like that one? That was the one with the rotisserie no, chicken? And no, no, it's not. This is the monster. Is oh, the, the cheesesteak one? Cheesesteak with bacon. Yes, yes. You didn't like that one? I did. I just liked that a lot better, so that's why it's pretty low. Because I didn't love the cheesesteaks to begin with. 
they weren't my favorite just because like I wouldn't get them yeah, and like get ability I. I wouldn't get it yeah like the outlaw is the only one that I could think about getting yeah I didn't like the outlaw yeah he didn't like the sauce I love the sauce was no good for me um and then I, I I mean I like Chipotle tasting things and I like Baja tasting things Baja Blast huge fan Baja Blast. they have a huge monopoly on that sidetrack like that's why I think Sidebar. they get a lot of business, honestly. Sidebar, um, yeah. Right? Taco Bell is, like, we're going for the Baja, Baja Blast. Blast. Like, it would honestly be, like, totally lesser on my fucking list. Yeah, the freeze, too, is good. Oh, fire. If, you, if you're looking for something, like, you know, ice cold, refreshing. And then, yeah. But Too if you get the drink. Inducing. Yeah. The drink is is refreshing. probably probably superior. But I the definitely freeze, The freeze hits sometimes. Um, But, yeah, the Chipotle Baja sauce. I loved it. Uh-uh. Okay, moving on. Number six, I have All American Club. Same. Oh, really? Yeah, for my number six is All American. I like that one. That was the one with turkey, black forest ham, bacon, American cheese. Yeah. Oh, I kind of forgot it had American cheese. It was. I liked the cheese better on the other one with the whole grain. You did? Yeah. It was more flavorful. Which one was that? Was Subway Club. Su- yeah, the Subway Club. Oh, yeah, I ranked that one really low. Yeah, you did. Um. Okay, that was number six. Number five, the great garlic. Supreme meats. Oh. Told you yeah. I wasn't in love with it. I thought you liked Italian BMT, though. I like it spicy Italian. I did. Spicy Italian's the same thing. No, it's pepperoni and salami. And the BMT has ham. Yes. The other one just has salami and pepperoni. Yeah. Let me look it up. What do you mean? I just want to double check. That the, I, that's what comes on a spicy Italian girl. I'm pretty. Sh- I'm almost positive. We're fact checking. Yeah, pepperoni, salami. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, I like it way more. I don't like the ham. I just like salami and pepperoni. But the th- the difference is the supreme meats has black forest ham, salami, pepperoni, and our capicola. See, with the spicy yeah. Italian or with the spicy spicy Italian, it's straight up just. T- Pack just spicy full, Italian. Just, you know, spack full, full of salami and pepperoni. So, yeah, I didn't really like it. Great garlic. The garlic aioli. Mid. Not very great. Um, the chicken is what sells The chicken's you. good. Yeah, exactly. I'm on board for that. Um, moving on, number four. The monster. I got the outlaw. That makes sense. They're both Philly cheesesteaks. Yeah, I like the monster out of all of the Philly cheesesteaks. I thought that one was... Yeah, and it was the one the we best. had hot, too. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Fire. It didn't even matter that I burnt the bread a it little. It didn't. Honestly. It didn't taste it. just gave you some extra little crispies. Yeah. The Outlaw. I think it was really good, honestly. I, and we didn't even try it cold. I can just tell the potential of it. I mean, we didn't even try it hot. I can tell there was potential there. And I'd like to definitely play around with that sauce, for sure. Maybe with the rotisserie chicken. That would be really oh, good. Oh, okay. That would be a good combo, in my opinion. I could see that. And, like... Also, the peppercorn Pepper ranch. Jack. Oh, yeah. Gonna I like that. trying that I out. I forget which one that was on. It was on the chicken one. It was on the delicious rotisserie chicken one. Oh, yeah. Did you already name that one? No, Oops. she's not named. <laughs> she has yet to be named. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was number five. Oh, no, 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 excuse me. Number, number four. four. Um, And then in three, I have the boss. Oh, the rotisserie the, chicken one with black peppercorn. No, the boss was the one with... Um, oh, the meatball. meatballs and the pepperoni. Oh, what can I? You talk about it because I haven't named it yet. Um, I thought it was fun. I used to like the meatball marinara. I get it occasionally. I mean, probably not in the last two or three years. Yes. Um, definitely something of the past. But you know, I was totally transported today, and it was a delightful treat with the fresh moths and the pepperoni. And Allison, Allison said it. She thinks the meatballs are reformulated or something. I, I don't are. know. But it smacked, and it was really good. Yeah. And I would get it again. For me, in third place, I have the Subway Club. I loved it. I you loved are so it. strange. I loved it. It was black forest ham with roast beef and provolone cheese. Tiled high on top of a hearty grain, hearty multigrain bread. And fuck the lettuce, tomato, all that shit. And the mayo was thick, and it all just went together so good and I could taste the cheese and all the meats were just perfect and on the it was really good on the on the actual on the multigram bread. I ranked that one at number nine. 
I know when you said that, I was like, I loved it. You you knew too, huh? Do you remember me? I was like, this yeah, is Yeah, I good. know. I remember we had totally com- different thoughts on it. Yeah. For both of the clubs, because I had the other, the um, All-American number six, you know. And I had, well, I have that Cause one you, six. Yeah, because you liked the bacon on it. The American? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay, yeah. so that was number three. In our second place, I have Supreme Meats. Oh, you loved it. I love the Supreme Meats. It, it's basically spicy Italian, but with the Capicola. No, it's Italian, about Italian BMT. Yeah, exactly. That's what I meant. Yeah. Um, it's basically that. And I'm a big fan. Can never go wrong with the classics. And, and the nice vinaigrette. On will it. be revisited. The vinaigrette was really good. And imagine with the sweet onion. Oh, yeah, that too. Mix them together. The sweet onion is good on everything. So for number two, I have the champ. Oh, wow. Um, just oh, my God. So that's rotisserie chicken that with double one. Monterey cheddar in the top with the creamy peppercorn ranch. So fucking good. Now I know what your first one is. I'm so gagged. fire. So fire. I would definitely get it again. 100%. I can definitely see me ordering it just without the red onion. Well, maybe with red onion, just a little. Light. Light. And no green pepper. Okay, number one. The, the boss. champ. I mean, we both had them both high. Yeah, yeah. The boss is number three switched. for you, me. Yeah, you're you're. No, no, no. Oh, number yeah, three. Okay, yeah, I had it in third, and you had champ at second. I was in love. It's second. I ate it. Really? It was the I first one we tried it. too. Yes. So. And that that pepperoni on it, that little spice. I loved it. I could totally eat a whole sandwich of that. And if it had more of the marinara. Absolutely. You could ask for extra. Well, I think if it was just fresh. Not I soaked think into the bun Not already. soaked yep. into it, yeah. If you ate it, like, right away, it was you probably wouldn't need more. Yeah. Um, and the fresh mozz, what can perfect. I say? It's just delicious. Yeah. And the champ, the rotisserie chicken, I'll be dreaming of it tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like we already said, he was scared. Now, look. <clears throat> yeah, because Kate, our, our mom and Al were dragging the grilled chicken that they oh, used yeah. to put, or I guess they still do. They still have it, but yeah, that chopped up grilled chicken looks like it should be on a salad. Yeah, they were dragging. It. I was like, I kind of like. It. They're like, I much prefer the rotisserie, and I'm like, yeah, unless it's soaked in that sweet onion teriyaki, like the chicken's okay if it's in the sauce, right? But but yeah, no. in something else, we were like that rotisserie it. chicken's gonna be fire. I had no clue. I was unaware. I want to look at it again. Oh yeah, it just had like sauce and just the sauce. peppercorn ranch. And the, but yes, the peppercorn ranch. Monterey cheddar, green peppers, and red onions. Fire. I was a fan. No tomato, you see. Makes sense. Some of the top top two for me, top three. Makes sense. Well, all of them didn't have tomato. I'm going to refrain from talking about tomato. Okay. Not mention any anything. Let's talk about our weekend, y'all. Let's talk about what happened at Halloween weekend, what went down. Um, there were poles. There were bongs or, um, like, funnels, you know. There was no keg, though. Unfortunately, I was kind of hoping. <coughs> there were jello shots. And we had a surprisingly fun time. Um, you had a surprisingly fun time. I knew I was going to have fun the whole time. I knew from the beginning. Well, we had plans to do, like, other things to make it, like, just a stop on our our list. One of our stops, yes. But then the other two parties that we were, well, she was invited to. I didn't get invited to any of them. No, Misa said you could come. Work. They got canceled. So this, the party we went to. Oh, yeah, two other parties we were going to go to. Was just, you know, the only place that we had to go. Yeah. But it was really fun. But not to say it was out of necessity. I always wanted, we, we both wanted to go. But Danny was just a little scared because, you know, we were going to be seeing people we hadn't seen in years. Yeah. Um, yeah. From our, I, yeah. It was um, when we recorded last episode. Oh, yeah. It was, it was the, that night. That, that night. And I just kind of wanted to go to bed. I was like. He was like, my bed. My bed. But. And I was like, no. I was like, we're going out. And I wanted to go like downtown or something. Do something else. But she was like, no, let's go to this party. Yep. But it was fun. It was nice seeing the Del Grosses, our friends. Oh, yeah. So fun. And the pole was and everything. And Kayla. Kayla. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, we got to see our friend game. Kayla. Shout out to her. She has a podcast. Y'all should listen. The Morning Brew with Kayla Kitagawa. She slays. Um, her friends were really fun. Uh, one of her friends kept calling me Miss Jamie Lee. 
the whole night. I loved it. We were playing like Rage Cage, and she was like, "Go, Miss Jamie Lee! Come on, Jamie Lee!" And I was like, yeah. "Diva." Yeah, there was there were some cool people there, but um, yeah, the poll. Allison was low key. Not no, don't don't even say it. <laughs> I so guys, you know, I when I I went to the party. Straight out of um, the tanning, the salon. tanning salon. Straight out of the uh, fake tan salon. Um, of uh, what fucking being, you Instinct know, Fiona, love. being Fiona. I'm still suffering from it. Still getting off of me. Yeah, sure you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, it's still hella. Yeah, dark. she's been very dark for the past week. We didn't know that instant glow Lasted. meant it would actually start. Getting, it was like, gonna be here for a good minute. Who knew? Yeah. Yeah, it's really shocking. My face, like, my eyebrows are still really dark. I did think about how we applied it that day. You were just like, rah, rah, rah. and I kept putting more and more. I'm like, I think I need more. And then I, like, looked at the directions. It's like, use, um, like, don't use a lot. Be conservative. I'm like, <laughs> I hate you. Oopsie. I went to the party so tan and bronze. I know. In all the videos, it's so funny. You on the pole, just, like, living your life and... You well, don't look like any, yourself. Anytime I look at pics, like, I know I I'm scared. The, when I would look in the mirror, I'm scared. Like every time I see it. Luckily, I didn't take that many selfies. Yeah, but I mean, we took pictures. Also, the whole pod episode, <laughs> you can tell from the beginning of of last week's episode, into the into the end, she like d- her whole skin develops, and by the end, she's like four or five shades darker. It's hilarious. Luckily, it was a little orange, a little dirty. Maybe luckily. Orange. Like, you know, wasn't too dark. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, we got the lightest one. It said light bronze. Yeah, exactly. We weren't trying to, to go dark, dark. We just wanted like a but little... But it wasn't that dark. I mean, I guess you're also just really pale, so it just looked really shocking. Yeah, exactly, because you don't know me, because I look different. Exactly. You don't know me. Exactly. No. But... It was pretty hilarious. It was a party really was fun. fun night. Yeah, so our friend Tyler got off... Um, his rehearsal at like 10 o'clock and he was in town 11 and he was like, uh, what are you doing? Cause we had plans to go together, me and Tyler. Right. And then, <coughs> and then he had to cancel cause his rehearsal and he was like, I'm going to stay. It's an hour away. He's like, I'm going to stay there. And then he called me and he was in town. I was like, he was like, where are you? He was like Ruby's house. And he was like, what the fuck? I was like, get over here now. And, and then he so ended up coming. Everyone was so excited to see and him. And Devin came too. Oh Yeah. Devin came. I asked Ruby. I was like, Diva, you remember Devin? She was like, yeah. I was like, I know you unfriended him on Facebook. Can he come, though? She was like, yeah, no, no. Oh, yeah. She unfriended him because Devin shared a video about little chickens getting, like, Grinded. ground up in, like, a meat grinder. Yep. She was like, nothing personal. I just didn't <laughs> need to see that. <laughs> yeah. And then there were prizes given out. Me yeah, and Allison did so not cool. win anything. Yes. But it's okay. Ty ended up winning least effort. Yep, because he came in no outfit. And we were shocked. I mean, Oh, he was so excited. Yeah, he didn't wear an outfit at all. But he was... Came right from he rehearsal. He was at rehearsal. He and literally it, didn't even stop at home. Yeah, it wasn't even Halloween day anyway. Yeah, it was great though. But yeah, it was fun. The pole dancing was good. There was a Scarlet Witch. Of course, you can't have a Halloween party without someone dressing up as Scarlet Witch. Oh, yeah. And they, she was giving on the, on the pole. Oh, One yeah, point, was her hair fell off. She literally said, wig. And, and we played Rage Cage. I got really drunk off that. Oh, we so were fun. so drunk. We were I so showed, hung over oh the next god. day, too. Oh, I was on well the whole day. Just whole rest. I was shocked. I was like, oh my god. I was really drunk. I, we were so drunk. I know. It was I, unreal. I literally was in the corner. It was like 2.30. It was like in a swing. And I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. You told me it was like a hammock like, or something, right? I was there right? for like 10 minutes, literally waiting for everyone to find like five minutes. Like everyone was going to the bathroom. Like Tyler and everyone were in the bathroom and everything. And I was just chilling out there. I was like. And then everyone, like Ruby and her mom, and then a few people out there, I was like, where can I throw up? They're like, and the bathroom? Yep. Is that what they said? Yeah. Allison, why wouldn't you just go to the bathroom? Well, I don't know. That you wanted them to be like, right over there, girly. Yes, please. That's what I wanted. And you're like, make that your home. But it's okay. Oh, my God. Ruby and, um, why well, I want to say Riley, Maddie. Maddie's mom is so funny. She was, Oh, she's a queen diva. I love her so much. It was nice seeing her. Yeah, her and, her, her and her boyfriend are dressed up as Rick and Morty. I thought she was dressed as Jean from Bob's Burgers. It looked it. And she was like, you're not the first one to say that. I was like, That's Whatever. hilarious. But yeah, all in all, it was fun. Good weekend. And we were way too exhausted to do anything else on the next day or 
even on Halloween. Oh no! I mean, you came ho- over though at like five though, right? Isn't that we I, watched Wendell and on a Monday? Yeah, Sunday. Didn't we watch Wendell and what hand there? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And I was I, no, I used your Wi-Fi on Saturday. And then we went no, to Top Golf. No, no, I used I used it on Monday. Yeah, and it was Halloween. And then we and that's when we saw Tar. Yeah, yes. so I think we saw it on Sunday, or we watched it on Sunday, and well, we watched Boss, White Lotus. Yeah, we watched White Lotus Sunday, yeah. and Wendell, right? Yeah, yeah, both yeah. of them. And then the next day was Tar. Yep. Yeah, we watched a lot of stuff, though, which is, I mean, I feel accomplished after we did that. Oh, I love watching stuff. You know, we had to watch it. So, Wendell and Wild. Oh, it was pretty good. Jordan Peele, Henry it Selleck. It was really good. We were, was really I was really excited. It was interesting. I would probably watch it I again. I kind of like the concept, concept and everything. Like, you know, yeah. stop motion was good. I thought it was really entertaining. I wish I didn't have hemorrhoid pain attack during it. Oh, yeah. That was when I first got that caused in, a lot of problems. In, in, induced. Yeah, I realized after the day of resting, I was like, huh. Not I slaying like, me. It's not slaying me. I was like, I got hemis. They're bad. Mom was like, you could get it from standing too long. And I was like, that's take it. I don't know because I wasn't sitting that much. Like I had been like doing shit. Maybe stress hemis. I don't know. From the pod. Could be. From the wig being too tight. Basically, but it was really bad, and my mom had to go to CVS and get me some medicine. Yeah, she had to sleep. So I've been quick. these past few days since fucking Sunday, I've been dealing with it. Just cream and spray, cream and spray. T- tried the suppository, couldn't get it in. Oh, you couldn't? No. Why not? I don't know. I couldn't really. I just kept trying to jam it, and it just hurt. It didn't. There's. It, I don't. I couldn't find the hole. Too T- tight. TMI, but couldn't couldn't figure it out. Just it's like a landmine over there. Like you, it's you know, and this, the, the, it's not. It should be like a tampon. Why isn't it like a tampon? Give me something that's hard, like kind of a little bit hard, and stick it up there, and then push out the suppository. Because I think it's like this big, isn't it? No, it was like a, a pellet. It was like this long and like it's like that a pink, long and a pinky. Thing. Show the audience. It was like this long. Okay, but it's and, not that. And it was like my pinky width thick. It was just hard. It I don't know. I hard. have a lot more experience with my ass, so exactly. I'm not going to judge exactly. you. Exactly. I, you, you know, say it's like a landmine. Exactly with all the hemis, like you know, it's <laughs> and it hurt after too because it was so much like aggravation, so much like I know, you were irritation. Like, I wish I didn't try I this was like, literally that really, this really <laughs> didn't help. <laughs> you were like I totally just messed them all up. Oh god, it was a crazy night. <laughs> you aggravated them. I did. You made them angry. But we watched Wendell and Wilde. Oh, my God. My mom asked me if I literally. Three and a half out of five. She, she was like, why does your ass hurt? She was like. She was oh, my like, God. She thought I had literally she something She was like, did you there. have like. No, she was like, did, well, did something go up there? Or something? I was oh, like, yeah. I was like, do you think I'd be talking to you about my ass hurting after anal sex? No. I wouldn't, like, mom. M- not likely. Len. Not likely. <laughs> well, like, literally what? I know. And she said it like with a straight face, too. I was shocked. You were like, you're asking me if I had anal sex? Literally, no. Be in the corner, like, vine boom. Literally. <laughs> oh, my God. I was shocked. But, you know, she um, keeps it real, I guess. She really does. And we also watched White Lotus, season two, episode one. Oh, I can't wait for this Theo Sunday. James, fake cock. We're all about it. I was shocked. Can we hear a little commotion for the cock? Come on, let me hear some noise. <laughs> Um, Aubrey Plaza, I can already tell, is going to be the best part of the whole show. Oh, so And her excited. character, too. Like, oh, no. So much is going to happen. No, I'm so excited. Also, her, also, though, Jennifer uh, Coolidge's assistant. Yeah, shit's going to happen with her. her and that boy. Yeah. He's kind of sexy. And the grandpa. Please. The grandpa. Oh, you mean... Yeah. Oh, the grandpa. Yeah. They kind of teased that. She kept being like, oh, your grandpa's so cute. Mm-hmm. She said it, like, multiple times. Do you want that to happen? It could be fine if she gets that coin. Yeah, because he's, like, rich. Exactly. And, you know, I didn't notice this, but the two girls on the beach at the very beginning Uh that that girl's talking to are from Survivor. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, because Mike White was on Survivor, you know. Mike Mike White's the, 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 like, writer-director. Oh. He also was in School Rock. You didn't know this? Oh, the one who looks like Tony Hawk? Kind of. I mean, the one who plays the roommate, who plays Nad Schneebly. Yeah. Yeah. He was on Survivor, and so I always thought it was actually Tony Hawk. I think two, someone told me that. Those I don't two know. girls at the very beginning are from his season. Oh, that's so cool. And uh, there was also another Survivor from the last season that was on. You know, one of the one of the guys that that 
the the gay guy manager like hooks up with. Oh, okay, one of them. Yeah, not the main one from Euphoria, but the other one. Insider tea. That's I'm cool. really excited. Um, Jennifer Coolidge back on oh my, my screen God, every week. Um, why aren't you watching? Uh, why don't you watch The Watcher? Oh, true. I should watch. I watched it. I binged it at work. I almost watched the whole I just, fucking I thing just, at work. I just heard like people complaining about the ending online, so I was oh. like, mm. yeah. See, like, and now I'm discouraged. I'm just like, no, but mm. like, it's just like every other movie. It's just like a lot of things. Every other movie where they end up where they mess up the ending. Yes, it, no. It's just like, it's just like it, you know. Yeah, I'm not gonna go yeah. Into I was like, it, you'd have to spoil yeah, it. Like, no, it's just like it happens. Like you know, you know, you you get left wanting more sometimes. It happens. So it's not satisfactory. Not gonna tease anymore. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, but I'm just saying I love White Lotus. I'm but yeah, it doesn't I'm matter. It's Jennifer. She's not in it a lot, but what she gives is something other than what she gives. Oh, yeah, she's always. not in it a lot, huh? No, she's not. But it's still interesting. It's still enjoyable. Yeah. Well, I think this has been a great episode. We talked about everything. No. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think so too. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, and stay tuned for next week when we try Starbucks oh, holiday hold drinks. On. Let me say something really quick. Um, I just want to say thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed um the Halloween episodes. But seriously, I'm so glad to be in my plain fucking clothes. So much less aggravation. I feel like just the flow. Honestly, she's you being know? real with you guys. And uh, we honestly got through the night a lot quicker. Well, totally. So, so. um, Hope just know a enjoyed. lot of work and effort went into that. And love you guys. And we love you guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Young and pretty. Riding Ride the, the subway. subway. <laughs> Talking that sweet, sweet talk. talk. All right. Bye, guys. Oh, you're the heart and soul of. Wait, how do you do it? Heart and soul of New, New York, York City. City. Love. Love is just a passing word. Bye. Bye. <laughs>